after 12, I'll say good afternoon now. Um, it's my great pleasure to welcome the Right Honourable Philip Hammond, MP, Secretary of uh, State for Transport, to the Village Hotel here in North Tyneside for this NEATH seminar on Transport Futures. I am sure that we're going to have an interesting uh, lunchtime discussion. I'd like to also welcome our speakers, Martin Pellew, Brian Aitken, and also Paul Cullen. The Village Hotel is perhaps a fitting place to hold this seminar. The business park demonstrates how the private sector can create jobs. Here in North Tyneside, in the 1980s, the government designated large areas as enterprise, enterprise zones. <coughs> Removing much of the red tape, which was uh, associated uh, with, you know, the stumbling blocks, but clearly associated with development. This has resulted in substantial and sustained growth in jobs, driven by the private sector. Approximately 15,000 jobs have been provided in the A19 corridor alone. In thriving businesses such as Cobalt Business Park, Silverlink Business and the retail parks, and the expansion of the Time Tunnel trading estate. I'm sure that we all recognise the vital role that the A19 plays along with the A1 and also the A69 in the National Highway Network. Over the next 18 months, we will see the completion of the major transport construction works at the Time Tunnel and some smaller scale works at the Silverlink Interchange. In advance of the Silverlink um, major schemes, which is needed, it is essential to realise that the full benefits of the substantial recent private sector investment to help create jobs in the A19 corridor. The North East, well, it's also at the forefront of new <coughs> transport technology. The plugged in places project will the implemented charging infrastructure to enable the large-scale take-up of the electronic vehicles by businesses and individuals. However, from my experience as a lead role in the Tyne and Weir city regions with respect to transport issues, I'm aware that we need to work and travel more sparkly to get to the, the best value for money from our existing transport networks by cycling and walking more. Later this year, we look forward to the Secretary of State announcing further details of the new Sustainable Transport Fund. This is something that we're looking forward to bidding to, uh, for it, is, it represents an opportunity to build on the work we've been carrying out in partnership with private sector over a number of years. At both at both the Cobalt and Quorum Business Parks, the developers have appointed their own dedicated travel plan coordinators. They've also new high quality bus services, which they have funded, and have developed walking and cycling initiatives. North Tyneside Council have actively supported these activities and in partnership with Sustrans and the private sector has delivered walking and cycling activities to the wider community through the Get Moving North Tyneside project. This has been a vital factor in contributing to the ongoing success of these business park developments. I recognise it is important that we engage in, with business and develop its contribution to delivering the transport improvements required for new job creation. Finally, I'd like to now welcome Martin Pellew, North East Chamber of Commerce, to come to the uh, stage and um, give us his perspective on the North East Transport Challenges.